Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook. Solutions, here we have Unit 4, Work and Energy. The section is 4.E, Comparison of Work by Identical Forces. Here's the scenario. Consider a car on a smooth incline. The incline angle makes theta with the horizontal. In two cases, the car is pushed up by the same force, F, whose magnitude is greater <coughs> than the weight of the cart. In case A, the force is being applied parallel to the incline, and in case B, the force is applied horizontal. In both cases, the cart is pushed from rest up a length L up the incline. The first two questions for part A explain why the velocity in case A is greater than the final velocity in case B. Then you're going to explain that using energy in the end. Part one is just the forces. Before we do that, I would like to show you a couple of notes to get you started. Work. This is the definition of work. Work is the product of the magnitude of the displacement times the force parallel to the displacement. So if the object here, in this case, is parallel, the force here is parallel to the direction that it's going up the ramp, it is just work is equal to F parallel D. That's perfectly fine. But what happens when it's not parallel to the ramp? that the cart is going up, you have to introduce a cosine theta. That cosine theta part um, is what is considered when that force is not along that same distance of the ramp. Okay, if you would like to see a numerical calculation on how that works, go ahead. This is a, back, uh, a person that's backpacking up. You're gonna see that the work here introduces a, co um, a cosine theta part to change it all right so going back here now let's go over the answers here on why this is true the first part in case a the force is being applied parallel to the incline like what we said before so the cart is being pushed up the ramp by a fa force applied completely in case b the force is being applied parallel to the floor so the cart is being only pushed up the ramp by a component of fa that component is the part that has the cosine theta in it. The fact that you have the cosine theta in it makes that makes the complete FA less than FA because cosine theta is between the values of zero and one. Then you're gonna use Newton's second law, A equals to the summation of F divided by M. The acceleration in case B we know is less than case A due to the explanation above. Based on the kinematics here, and I just made that substitution because on your equation sheet, you're, uh, it looks like plus two A delta X. I just represent it as the distance along the ramp. Now I also assume that the initial velocity for both cases were at rest. So this goes to zero. And the final velocity only depends on the acceleration at that point. Therefore, the system that has a greater acceleration will have the greater final velocity. And we know case A has the greater acceleration because the force is the magnitude of the force is being applied along the distance. Here, it's less because the magnitude of the force being applied has a cosine theta attached to it that makes it less. Now you're going to explain in terms of energy. Treating the cart as an object, the energy transferred in the cart can be modeled by the work equation. Work is equal to the change of energy. Also note that the work equation can be expressed in terms of force. W equals to F parallel times the distance. Using those two equations together, the chart changes in energy can be expressed by the force being applied over the distance. I just plugged in F parallel d equals to w so it should look like the force if the force is being applied parallel times the distance that will equal the kinetic energy in case b the force was applied not parallel to the ramp therefore the force parallel to the direction of the car going up the ramp is less than a in case a the force being applied is parallel to the direction of the car going up the ramp Therefore, the case A has more change in energy than case B. 
this has more change in energy than case A has a higher change of energy than case B. That makes sense. That is the reason why the velocity is greater than the initial velocity because the change is also greater because the work is also greater because the force is being applied as greater. But here they just wrote in terms of energy. Now these two parts just ask for num the numerical calculation. We start with work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy. The work net can be substituted as F net times D. We saw that before. F parallel we would like. And delta K is the change in kinetic energy. So you have 1 half MV squared final minus 1 half MV squared initial. I just distribute out the 1 half M. The F net was in red. I gave you what that looks like. It's F minus mg sine theta. The reason why it's minus mg sine theta is let's take a look. I drew it out for you. You should see that the force opposite to the F applied is the mg sine theta. Because again, we just broken up the components of mg, the force of gravity, into its um, components part due, it, due to it being on a ramp. Okay, this should explain to you where I got the F minus mg sine theta. Then we let V initial equals to zero. Make we work through some algebra, but I kept the colors to make sure that you see it. This goes to zero, multiply by two, divide the M over then square root it. Likewise, same process as b here, but this time it's an F, the it's an F cosine theta minus mg sine theta, and you're gonna get the same thing. Let me show you again where the, um, but it's the same thing here. All right, I just decided to just give you a little more detail if you would like to see. Here I've broken it up into the component parts. Here you should see that the upper part, the where the force is being applied, is in this direction. Up the ramp is F cosine theta. And if you go opposite of that, it would be F sine theta. You're one because the theta is right here. You're wondering if you're wondering why that theta is here, is because it's um opposite um opposite it's opposite interior angles are congruent for parallel lines and it's cut by transversal so j just think about the floor the floor like this and the ramp is the transversal line and there's like another line above here where the ramp is okay so if the angles here this has to be parallel Okay, so the ramp is the transversal, if that makes sense, all right? That's just the geometry to prove this statement, why it's F cosine theta minus mg sine theta, okay? All right, so there you go. Now that you have these two, you can explain how these two equations um, can support that statement. Given that course, here are the two velocities, like we got calculated, the final velocity for A and the final velocity of B. Notice the only difference is this part, is the F cosine theta. So given that the cosine theta is less than one in case B, that makes sense because cosine theta, theta for cosine, if the theta exists, if the theta goes from zero all the way to one, Cosine theta will go from, mm, sorry, it goes from zero to uh, pi over two. This is zero to 90 degrees for those who want to be, that's degrees, that's radians. As this happens, cosine goes from the value, goes from one all the way to zero. Just think about your unit circle, okay? Cosine theta starts from run, goes all the way here. This is cosine theta equals to zero. Okay, 
Given that the cosine theta is less than 1 in case B, you can conclude mathematically that VF A must be larger than it starts with a larger number. And then subtract it off right here with a larger number subtracted off by the same case here. That means that this agrees with both parts A and part B because the net force in B, the net force in B here, would be less than in case A due to the force being applied on the box was only a fraction. And what I mean by fraction is it's F cosine theta. It's real thing. It's full amount is F. It's fraction part is F cosine theta. And that makes sense why it's a fraction because the value of cosine exists between one and zero. Okay was only a fraction of the magnitude of f. All right, there you go. You just need to understand some trig, setting up the equations that if you need it, the explaining it in terms of energy forces. This is the diagram. Re you have to remember your these angles component to it. All right, so there you go. I will leave you with this screen so you can get better at labeling your component forces, all right? So there you go. Those are all your solutions.